Video 1001, Lighting Families. Once again, we're going to come across the situation where we need to plan our family because lights can go everywhere. They can be desk lights, wall lights, lights that are mounted within a ceiling, surface mounted lights, pole mounted lights. The list is almost endless and we're not going to be able to cover every single instance of lighting family in this DVD. What I do want to explore, however, is some of the different methods we can employ when creating a lighting family. We've already seen in the electrical outlet family that we created in another video that we can add things like electrical connections and conduits. The mainstay of the lighting family, though, is going to be the data that controls the light output. And if you want accurate renders, getting the light output from your light fitting is crucial. Let's start this exercise by looking at one of the sample families. In your Chapter 10 folder, you'll find a file called Recessed High Efficiency Louvered Light. Opening that family brings us to the 3D view, and that's where I want to start. In the family, we've got this rather lovely looking yellow ball. This is the light source definition. At this point, we can define how the light behaves. We can specify the shape of the source, for example and then how the light is distributed. However, to get an accurate rendering, we really need to define the light properties from a photometric web file, and we'll take a look at those shortly. With the light source defined, we can specify the photometric web data. Here, we've linked this to a parameter in our family, so under family types, we'll be able to see that information. There's the photometric web file. And there's the file in our library. These files can be opened with a text editor, such as Notepad, which gives the manufacturer's lighting data for a particular lighting fitting. These files have to be stored in the same location. If you're working in a networked environment, it's a good idea to have that in a centralized library because anybody who needs to access the lighting data also needs access to this file, and keeping a track of them in lots of locations is going to be a real pain. One of the benefits of using these photometric web files is that we can be fairly generic about our light fittings. Currently, this family only has one type, a 2-lamp 230-volt fitting. We could create a new type here, Call this a 4 lamp 230 volt fitting and change the photometric web file to an appropriate light fitting. And of course, the parameters may well change for that particular fitting once you have four lamps in it. You can see that now I've changed the photometric web file. The spread indicated by our light source definition has changed to give us a rough indication of how that particular light fitting will work. In the coming set of videos, we're going to create a light fitting and then add a light source definition, as well as an electrical connector and quite possibly conduit connections. Let's get planning. 